family, it's your boy is Apocalypse. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we got Tut Weezy when you're a part of someone's villain backstory. Ooh, uh Bruh. Some villains look, I'm not gonna lie, depending on what we're talking about, cause it could be like anime, it could be superhero fiction of like Marvel or DC. Or even just like horror. Bruh, I'm not gonna lie, there's some villains, some villains' backstories be ass. But like, depending on the villain, if I'm a part of their backstory, I'm probably fucked. <laughs> like, depending on what villain we're talking about here. But, uh, what villain backstory do you think would probably be the worst case scenario for you if you were a part of one? Let me know in the comment section. And without further ado, why am I doing the Birdman? All right, let's get into it. I want you all to know that this is nothing but karma coming back around. R R. Your precious lives are nothing but a generous casualty in my plan to conquer this earth. Hey, hey, uh, <laughs> floating dude. Excuse me. Yeah, right here. I'm sorry about whatever happened to you, but I gotta go to work. So whatever you do. Don't destroy that building right behind you. Yeah, the, the, the tall one right there. Don't oh that. my god. I need to catch up on some bills, my boy. And who are you to be making demands? Wait a minute. It's you. Oh my god. Hey, you know what? If you're going to destroy the city, do the other half. Because I got a whole lot of shit going on in this half. All my <laughs> little hoes live on this side of the city now. The other side, that's where my ex live at. I ain't gonna lie, it wouldn't bother me in the slightest if you blow that motherfucker sky high. <laughs> Silence, you fool. I knew you looked familiar. You are to blame for me being this way in the first place. Hey, man, my baby mama blaming me for enough <laughs> stuff right now. And you don't look familiar at all to me, my boy. Oh, really? Theodore Thompson? Hey, how you know my name, little bro? Yo. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I'm fucking your girl or something. I'm sorry, bro. She on me. Yo. I, <laughs> night. I bought her one drink and she was like, you know what? Let go home. I was like, damn. <laughs> you know what? Let go home. Oh, yeah. You need to take better care of her, bro, because it shouldn't be that easy. What? Yo. What are you talking about? I don't even have a girl. I'm gay. Bro. <laughs> it's crazy you don't recognize my voice. Do you remember me now, Theodore? Bruh. Nope, not nothing. But hey, uh, I got about 30 more minutes for I'm late. So can we speed this up a little bit? Finish your little speech. Ah, we work together at the chemical plant, man. It's me, the janitor. Hmm. Wait, Kevin? Hey, Kevin, that's you? Damn, how'd that happen? You took my parking spot. So I had to park around the back. And I got bit by a radioactive raccoon. Now I am radioactive the ravager, and the world shall know my pain. raccoon ravager. Oh, damn, that's crazy. Radio over, oh, man. God. You know what? Y'all got it. <laughs> to die. Oh, uh, my bad, bro. You want to spot back or something? I can get you. I know Clark here. Oh, what do it? Ain't paying no more. You doing me a favor. I ain't paying no more bills. <laughs> Season, you know what I'm saying? Yo, wait, 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 wait. I ain't paying no more bills. You doing me a favor? <laughs> nah. Oh, a parking spot. <laughs> Yo, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like the backstory is just so. So you got a grudge with this nigga for that parking spot. And just as fate has it, you just a radioactive raccoon just bites you. Oh my god, bro! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, Bruh. The nigga became a super villain fresh from a parking spot being taken from him. What the fuck, dude? I wonder why he want to blow up the city. He don't want nobody else to have a space to park. 
Alright, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this reaction. Comment below what you thought about this reaction. I'll see y'all next time.